Hi, I'm Mike and welcome back to Rutland Cycling. Today we're here at the Specialised Headquarters in Surrey to take a look at their new Evade and Prevail 3. So let's go take a look inside. Hi, I'm Richard from Specialized. I'm here to talk to you about the new Evade. The new Evade, as you can see, is the latest version of our Evade helmet, replaces the Evade 1 and the Evade 2. And it's brand new to us and has been a long time coming. And the long time coming is really because our existing helmet is actually so aerodynamic. To improve on the aerodynamics has been a real challenge, in all honesty. When we spoke to our pro team, they really were after a better ventilated helmet, far more than they were after a faster or more aerodynamic helmet. Our existing helmet is already incredibly aero, but having a helmet that's more usable, something they can reach for in far more conditions, something that's going to be more comfortable to wear for longer periods of time on the bike, was really what they were after. So the new Evade hasn't got any slower, it's just as aero as our existing Evade. But the new helmet has increased the ventilation. The ventilation on this helmet is over 10% better than the existing product. And we've done that through a, a few quite radical uh, design features. First off, you'll see, funnily enough, increased ventilation means bigger holes. But bigger holes also means a slower helmet. So how we were able to counteract bigger holes without any drop in aerodynamics is the key. And that key comes with the rear of the helmet, the diffuser. And anyone that talks to you about aerodynamics, whether it's in cars or planes or something, the wash, the turbulence that's created behind the helmet is a key feature in making sure the helmet doesn't get any slower. And this diffuser technology is what decreases the wash, decreases the turbulence, and therefore allows our aerodynamic story to be as fast as it was, whilst increasing the ventilation and making the helmet essentially a more usable everyday helmet. During the process of re-engineering the Evade, we also re-engineered the Prevail. And the Prevail helmet sits alongside the Evade rather than above or below. It's, an, it's another helmet for a different type of ride and for a different type of rider maybe, different conditions maybe, or for someone who's more interested in ventilation rather than the aerodynamics. With the Prevail, we have changed the helmet drastically. We have a whole new technology in this internal rib cage, roll cage that you can see exposed. And this roll cage essentially works in the same way as a suspension bridge. It's housed into a ring around the edge of the helmet, around the circumference, and works to allow us to really open up the ventilation without using any foam, but without making the helmet weaker. In fact, this helmet tests as a five-star of Virginia Tech. So it's really high up in the safety standards, even though there's quite a lot of material that when you look at the helmet is missing. So with the Prevail, you are able to increase your ventilation over our existing Prevail by about 25%. So it's a significant improvement in ventilation, if that's your thing. As far as the aerodynamics, it is actually improved because you'll see a lot of the same characteristics that you see on our Evade and the new, uh, the new design that we use there. But the main story for the Prevail is that increase in ventilation. With both the Prevail and the Evade, you will be getting new straps, which you can th see are thinner, more refined, You've still got the rear attention system, which is adjustable vertically, as well as from the width perspective. And internally, there is the new MIPS node technology. The benefits of MIPS node over our standard MIPS system is there's actually a much more ventilated way of protecting your head. There's far less material, but still getting the same safety perspective that you would want from MIPS. 